Hi, this is Miss D from D Special Things. Just wanted to share with you some tags that I um, finished up this weekend. I'm working on some tags for my curating Christmas um, video that I did. I'll link the video for curating Christmas in the description box below. And I'll also link... Um, What's her name? Jill Norwood's video. I used her video on the teacups that she used. Well, let's call them hot chocolate cups, right? I actually used, and I think she used the same ones, the Tim Holtz, the Sizzix die, the biggest die. I used this die to actually make my little cups of chocolate or tea or whatever you want to call it. And I'll have to call mine chocolate because I pretty much did mine the same way she did hers using her marshmallows. Well, I didn't have a marshmallow stamp, so I actually had to cut out these little individual marshmallows myself and <laughs> use them like this. So, these are my stamps that I made. I used both of the cups, or the little teacups, but I didn't use the saucers for any of them but these I made the marshmallows and then too she also has a candy cane in her on her tag well the candy cane I have the Tim Holtz alteration die the candy cane but I thought it was a little big so I didn't want to use that didn't feel like cutting it out on my silhouette or anything so I actually just took white paper and strips of red paper and stuck it on there and cut it off of there so um, I used the sequin for the little mistletoes that I have on there and I used a little heart that I cut out and just stacked that on there yeah so these are some of the pretty much the same concept with all of them I just did each one of them differently and I thought these came out so very cute yeah so there's that one I used uh, bows some red and white the the this bowl this is some basil let's see if I have it here some basil or basil ribbon that I got from Tuesday morning that I put it on on here and these are larger scatters um sequence I used that to make that mistletoe but yeah so I thought these were so cute and this little tag that I have on here I didn't use the little teacup one because to me these because I have marshmallows on there I don't know if you could see the little I actually put glossy accent and sprinkled some little this um, sprinkled this glamour dust on it yeah so yeah, but that's what I did with these. And like I said, this is the other teacup. And excuse my fingers because I was playing around with this. Here's another one. And these I left blank on this side so that I could actually use them to write information on it for what I'm planning to do with it. This little Merry Christmas, I actually cut it out of a little book these little tags but I used the stamp this stamp to make the it's a American craft stamp that I got from Tuesday morning yes yeah, so I used that and then here's another one and all of them are pretty much the same little concept I made the little peppermint stick on each one of them I thought that was more dimensional to that little cup and then too, I may I might have to cut that peppermint to see how large it really is. I think I could have stuck it behind there and got the same results. But yeah, these are my tags. And these, most of them are hanging. I think a few of them I did attach on here some kind of way. But yeah, these are my little cups of cocoa that's because they do have the marshmallows in there so yeah and there you go so those are my little cups of hot chocolate did I show you the Tim Holtz dye that I used I think I did 
I used the, both of the cups. I didn't use the saucer. Yeah, I showed you this, the big star. This is what I used to make these with. Yeah, so I just used this cup and this cup. Mm -hmm. And um, then, I because I have quite a few of these little things going on, I am getting ready to, well, I'll show them to you. I'm going to make a project using this one too. And I thought this would be great because I am going to make, I thought this was a good idea, some, and I'll have to show you, um, because I only just started them. I've only just started making the little pockets that you put. Um, yeah, these are cute, simple. You put, mm, you know, the little gift card. You could put any kind of gift card in it, but I wanted them for the Starbucks gift card. These are great to give away to people in your office, friends, your hairdresser, your manicures, all that kind of stuff. And I like, I need to go, right? <laughs> But anyway, this is a good idea. Just take and it is just such a, as small as it is. It doesn't really have to be that much larger. But this is what I did. And I'm going to attach this. I'll have to come back and show you once I finish. But I'm going to attach one of these to each one of these. I even have a clear one like the, the real regular... <laughs> Uh, cup like that, the plastic cups like that. Yes, yeah, so when I finish these, I'm going to sit them right here. I'll come back and I sh I'll show you exactly how I decorate this little doodad here. Alright, you guys, so these are the items or the cups that I've made so far. And this is the little jacket that I'm going to decorate when I finish it. I'll come back and show it to you. I thought those would make cute little, not just tags. You can either make them tags or I'm going to adhere mine to the front of these. So even if you, um, after you take your little Starbucks card out of it, you can still use this because it's going to be attached to this. You can still use this as a little gift tag if you want for another project. Yeah. So I'll come back when I do another video. Um, I'll come back and show you how I actually put these together. But yeah, that is my tags right now. I am actually using quite a few ideas from, um, what's her name? Uh, Jill. I'm sorry, Jill. I keep forgetting your name. Yes, I'm using some of her ideas. So... I'll also show you how I'm using the reindeer that she made. And I'll take all of her videos and link them. I'll put them in my description, in the description. But I have started the little reindeer that she made. And yeah, here are some that I've already completed. Some of them, maybe not. I even try to get them, give them little cheeks. So, I don't know how I'm going to present these on a tag yet. But, yeah, I am going to put these on a tag. And, yeah, I'll come back when I finally finish them or do them. I'll come back and show you exactly how I put these on a tag. But, these are... <laughs> This, this idea was really great because now I'm able to get out a lot of tags. This is one that I tried with the heart. I can't find my heart punch. It's, I bet you it's right under my nose. I can't locate it. So I actually used my Gina Marie um, stitched heart. And you don't get the same result as you would with these. So I don't know if I'm liking that one. But yeah, I did that one. And... Um, once I finish those, uh, do the actual tags, I'll come back and I'll show you exactly what I did with them. All right, you guys, those are the beginning of my tags. I think I'm on a roll now. I'll come back um, once I get some more done. First, I'll come back and show you how I did those, uh, the coffee cups and the coffee cup holder, the gift tag holder. Yeah, I'll come back and show you exactly how 
I put those together. But yeah, those are my projects right now. I'm loving these. Yes, um, it was hard <laughs> cutting out those little mushrooms though. Yeah, but I did do those and um, yeah, I'm actually loving that. I love that idea. And I'll come back and I'll show you the other tags. All right, y'all. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.